What's going on guys, away from Revolution here. Uh, day two of Watches and Wonders here with my buddy Bertrand Savry. How are you, sir? I'm fine, and you? Excellent, dude. Uh, and he is the CEO, he's the CEO of two brands. Uh, he's the CEO of both Arnold and & Son and also Angelus. But we're gonna start to talk about Angelus, which is very exciting for me because this year marks the return of an icon. Right? Exactly. So one of the most cult collectible watches of all time is the Angelus Chrono Dato. But actually in 1942, when the watch was launched, it was called the Chrono Date. Exactly. Right? It's a two pusher chronograph with a central display for the uh, date, which is right on the perimeter off of a, you know, beautiful hand coming from the, the Canon Pinion. But you have come up with a really cool version of this watch. What I respect is that you didn't just make a facsimile of the vintage watch. And I know there was a lot of pressure for you to do that as well. What you did was you took a lot of those codes, but you created a beautiful contemporary watch, which to me is like the perfect balance. So tell us a little bit about that. Thank you, yeah, the most easy way for us would be to come directly with a vintage version, but it was too easy also in a way. And uh, so we decided to come with some some information from the past, and in a way, we, what we're creating is neo retro. Right. So we're using the code of the past, but also the design of the of the actual collection. And uh, honestly, I think that after years of uh, of design, we came with a with the right product. That is really cool. I, I like how you call it like um, sort of like neo retro. It kind of reminds me almost of like a Singer Porsche, you know, <laughs> yeah. where you have like obviously the iconography of the vintage watch, yeah. but now with a really cool modern case, modern movement, contemporary size as well. Tell us a little bit about the process for the design. Tell us about the, you know, the really cool style of it and tell us about the movement. So uh, the movement, it's a 100% in-house movement developed flip it by over. Manufacture La Jouperre. Right. And uh, a vertical clutch. In terms of designing of the case, what we, what we are looking for is to have a modern case and uh, something which is versatile and also something that we can play with in terms of material. Right. So what we create, it's a carbon container and outside the container you have nine parts that you can play in different uh, materials, so meaning that you can replace uh, the pusher, you can replace uh, the bezel with different materials. So right. it, it will also help us in the next uh, few years to be uh, to bring a lot of ideas in terms of, of design. That's cool. So you have a carbon central case and then you have nine parts that surround it that form the case structure, which allows you to do kind of bimetallic versions, you know, exactly. play around with materials as well, right? But I don't know, I mean, I, when I looked at it and I showed you, you were kind enough to show me the design even before the fair, when I, like I immediately I looked at it and I was like, dude, it's cool. Right, Thank and I you. love the attention to the detail. Like I like the fact that you use the iconography of the old numerals, but now apply with Superluminova and applied indexes as well. Exactly. Right? And also the fact that you are trying to use some new material for, for the dial. Right. It's, uh, it's bring a lot of uh, three dimension uh, in, inside the watch and the dial. And uh, of course we try to bring some also some, some information about uh, the historic pieces. For example, the three marks on, uh, on the chrono, which is representing the, um, the telephone yeah. minutes that we are used uh, at this time. That's right. So guys, back in the day, uh, if you look at the minute counter, that tells you every three minutes you got to put more money into the, <laughs> exactly. into the telephone. <laughs> that, that went back when they had telephones yeah. that had you put money into, and it was every three minutes you got charged, right? Um, I think it's such a great watch. So okay, I just want to talk to you guys about the movement a little bit. So the movement is a column wheel activated vertical clutch automatic movement. Um, the advantage, obviously, of a vertical clutch, which I'm sure you guys know already, is you can keep it running indefinitely and it has no underlying effect on the timekeeping, right? Exactly. Which is really cool. Um, also, it's a, a smooth start and stop every time, so you don't have the clashing of the wheels on a laterally coupled chronograph. So I'm gonna show you the gold piece as well. Now, so can we ask you about the pricing of the watch? So the price in uh, Swiss franc, it's uh, just below 23,000 for titanium and carbon. Okay, so and these two are titanium and exactly. carbon, Exactly, right? and uh, regarding the gold version, uh, carbon and gold, we are at 40,000 Swiss franc. Okay. But again, like com complex case, you know, carbon container, multi-part titanium case that goes around it with this beautiful skeletonization on it. Um, really, really cool dial uh, with like so much dimension to it. And this great in-house movement, automatic vertical clutch, column wheel. I think you got a winner here, dude. We hope so. Yeah. yeah. You know already, right? Yeah, Come on. No, it's almost sold out, yes. So how many pieces are you going to make of each? So we decided to go for three limited edition of 25 pieces. Right. And uh, of course, we will come back during the year with some, some new edition. But uh, for the fair, it's uh, three times 25 pieces. Amazing. 
And uh, guys, these watches are really good. So uh, if you're a retailer watching me uh, on this, uh, on my, on the Revolution channel, you better run over before they're all gone, right? Yeah. Or they're pretty much all gone already. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, I just happened to notice that the logo of Angelus is this really cool star, and which also happens to be the logo for Revolution. Oh, wow, that's cool. Bertrand. Maybe we should collaborate on something. We should certainly do something together, yes. Let's discuss that, sir. That'd be awesome. Okay, so let's go from the wonderful Chrono Date. So just to remind everyone, Chrono Date was the name that the Chrono Data was launched in 1942. In 1943, it became Chrono Dato. Uh, let's also talk about this beautiful tourbillon that you have here. So that's the new tourbillon also that we decided to launch this year. It's a limited edition of 18 pieces. Cool. Uh, the platin is in carbon, so right. full carbon. So very complicated to... Uh, Oh, for yeah. in terms of usage, Fantastic. yes, and uh, all the bridges are in 18 karat gold. Wow! It's a manual winding <laughs> movement. Size also is 42.5 millimeter, and it's a garb carbon and gold uh, case. Beautiful. May I? Yes, of course. And what is the price of the watch? The price is uh, 80,000 Swiss francs. Right. So carbon fiber base plate, and then with gold bridges applied to it, and this beautiful kind of skeletonization. Great value, incidentally. Thanks. You guys are looking for a, a dope ass flying tourbillon. I think that's the way to go. That's, that's a, a really cool alternative. Well, thank you very much, Bertrand. Uh, thank it's a you very to much. See you. A and pleasure. I, and I know I'm going to see you in just a few minutes to talk about Arnold and Son. Perfect. But guys, Chrono Date, come and check it out. It's awesome. Thank Peace. you.